Uh, so it's been seven years. So when I took over, we really didn't have a, a huge roster. Um, I think we had about 12 guys. It was in a solid spot, but it was mainly all juniors and seniors. So as we were recruiting in, we knew we were losing a lot too. Um, so just building that roster up, not only in just size, but you know performance and kind of building it to where we wanted. And the biggest part was building the culture. And that's kind of where I, I see it today. You know, the culture was set a couple years ago. You know, you're committing to be a student athlete. And I always say with goals, we set goals not based on what we want to get out of it, but what we want to put into it. And a lot of people don't look at it with that perspective. They'll just say, I want to win a championship or I want to run this fast, I want to do this. And well, what are you willing to do to get there? And can you sleep eight hours tonight? You know, can we sleep nine hours a night? That's a big thing that we, we talk about because it's all about recovery and adaptation to the training. And a lot of collegiate athletes ignore that. They just want to look at four to six. They want to say, I worked really hard from four to six, so I should be this great. That's just not the case. You know, you need to buy into the lifestyle of it. And that's what these guys have done. You know, speaking of that, it was like Reed, Tristan, Sean Gamerick, Ethan Batchelor. I would even throw some of the recent graduates like Andrew Hawk, Clint Turberville. Um, a lot of those guys just just totally sold out on what we were you know teaching and uh, you know they they really believed in what where we could get to and a lot of those guys they were average high school runners at best and they came in and they were completely sold out and trusted in the process and got us to where we are now and now that attracts you know even bigger recruits and when you get a better starting point this is what happens and if it wasn't for those guys we wouldn't be where we are today you know, we were talking about Mount Rushmore's on the men's side. You look at like Sammy, Mo, uh, Natalie Deacon, athletes like that that set the tone with the buy-in on the women's side to get us where we're at. And these women have blown me away this year. You know, we talk about expectations coming in, and I think everyone knew the men could be what they are, um, and that was kind of expected. These women, no one dreamed that we would be, you know, traveling to Louisville today, um, and that that's an incredible moment. And seeing someone like Steph come back for a fifth year and just bring that to fruition. And they've been building this for a long time. Uh, we had three incredible freshmen come in. Um, I look at Allison Dell, Sarah James, and Molly Silva. And a lot of people don't hear about Molly because she's running as her alternate, but at the same time, it's more about what they bring even outside of the performance, um, that commitment level, the willingness to live the lifestyle. And I would even say more so on the girls' side, just being a supportive teammate, being loving, caring, compassionate, lifting each other up through hard times, and just reducing stress levels overall. And I think that's allowed them to really enjoy the sport at a higher level and just lifting up their performance you know, through all of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have some stuff written on paper about you know where could we possibly finish what's it going to take um, ultimately I hope we can just come together Saturday and every individual can have the best race of their season and I think if you know we do that we have a possibility of having the best finish in school history and that would be awesome you know and that's kind of the goal of the team can we get to nationals and can we be the best team ever in school history and that's a big goal for us and on the men's side that was 13th overall and I think the women's was 21st and that was back in 1998. So it would be incredible to see them make a run at it. Uh, I think there's still a lot more to be had. You know, we return everyone next year. I hate saying looking ahead, because I don't want to look ahead right now with Nationals on Saturday and having the ability to, you know, maybe even have the best uh, performance in school history, uh, which would be, you know, an honor, especially with the likes of, you know, Doug Thomasy, Jack Toms, and, you know, coaches before us. Uh, that, that would be incredible to see the program get to that level again. Uh, but. You know, in a, in a way, looking ahead, it could even be in a better spot next year with, you know, returning who will return.